Hello, this is William McKissick with Schoolie Mitchell, your expense reduction specialist. And one word of caution as a reminder, this is not my day job. This is my way of helping promote other businesses on social media. And today with me, I have Bob Bruner. Um, he is with he is the owner with West Florida Locks. Welcome to the show, Bob. Thank you. Glad to be here. Glad to have you. So a little bit about Bob. Bob is the owner with West Florida Locks. Um, it's a full service mobile locksmith covering Hillsborough, Pasco and Pinellas counties. So he works across the tri-counties in the Tampa Bay area. To get things rolling, um, Bob, tell me a little bit more about you. Okay. Uh, my name is Bob Brunner. Uh, I have lived in the Tampa Bay area for 37 years. My original uh, place of birth is Virginia and I've lived in Colorado, Missouri. Uh, this is home for me, uh, warm weather and fishing and uh, locksmithing. So uh, I'm not married currently right now, I'm engaged and uh, that'll be taking place after the first of the year. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I'm, I'm glad to be, uh, to be of service of people in the business I'm in, which is locksmithing. So tell me a little bit more, what does um, West F Florida Locks do um, as, a, as a service? What is it you offer? But also importantly, to let people know what you don't do. Right. Locksmithing encompasses a lot of variations. There are locksmiths that do just automobile uh, car keys, you know, programming. I do not do that. Um, some of them just do uh, house rekeys, which I do. And I do that for residential and businesses and unlocking service. I also do that for businesses and homes and cars. And I do a little bit of safe work, but not much. And access control, you know, where you swipe a card to have access to go into a building. I do that on a limited basis. And we do, of course, lock sales and service and we repair locks. We make keys for locks, but, um, that that kind of encompasses what you know what I do and what other locksmiths do. So mm -hmm. I don't do any car keys, just uh, basically rekeying commercial properties and rekeying uh, residential properties and lockout services for both of those, as well as automotive and some uh, some access control. It's funny going through the list there. You can I can see the need for your service so much so because if you think of all those places and all those items that you talked about, there must be so much opportunity for people to lose things. And we all do. We all lose keys and we lose cars and we we get locked out of things. So a very valuable service. So what is your target market? Obviously, there's quite a lot over there between cars and houses and key machines. What is your target market look like? Who is it you're trying to reach? My primary target market would be um, when a husband, wife, family has moved into a new home or someone has gotten into a new business uh, or someone that has turnover in a new business, like management has turnover and they need to rekey that property. That would be rekeying, you know, I consider myself a rekey specialist. And then on the flip side, it's, Mostly, there's a lot of folks, like you said, lock themselves out of their vehicles or lose their keys to their house. They've locked themselves out of their house. So that would be a big target market for me, for those folks that uh, have, you know, bought new residents or they had a roommate they had to get rid of. So they need the locks rekeyed. And uh, that's primarily uh, the target market that I'm looking for. Ages, you know, anywhere from 24 on up. Mm -hmm. You know, people elderly in their 80s, you know, call upon me a lot. Okay. And, and with COVID, how's that affected your business in particular, but the, the locksmith business industry? Um, it hasn't hurt me up to this point because there's, there's Tampa Bay market has a strong housing market. There's a lot of homes uh, that are being sold on a regular basis. It's, it hasn't slowed the realtor market down and the interest rates have been low. So that's helped. And there's a lot of folks moving into the Florida market daily. So that's helped that. And then you have local people that haven't moved anywhere that, you know, they, they lock themselves out of their vehicles or they've lost their keys and or their, or their homes have locked themselves out of their homes. So uh, it hasn't really affected me per se as of yet. 
Okay. Um, obviously, we, we talked about COVID and the services you do. Um, leading into the Christmas holiday, um, what, what, how is that going to affect the hours that you perform your, your duties? Um, and w- what changes is it going to make to you over the holidays, if any, um, over the Christmas period? Yeah, obviously Christmas Day, I'm not going to be available. New Year's Eve probably won't be available. Um, but other than that, I'm a 24-7 locksmith, so that means I'm available, you know, around the clock. You know, somebody calls me 2 o'clock in the morning, they're locked out, I'll come see them. So mm-hmm. I-, I might be able to do some of that on uh, on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, but very limited in just those two days, New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve, and New Year's Day and Christmas Day might be limited. But other than that, um, full-scale locksmithing. Well, for anybody watching this this show today, um, you can see that Bob obviously offers a high quality service, something that's always a demand for. Um, and as as I asked that last question at the end over the Christmas period, he's going to be almost available 100% of the time. Um, he has to get a break for occasionally. We all have to get a break. But um, as you can see, Bob's there for you if and when you need him um, 24-7. Bob, thank you very much for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. William, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to uh, spend some time with him. And just for a point of note, for also for anybody watching this, um, Bob's details are underneath his portion of the video. So um, his details are there, his website, his phone number, everything's there. And um, please reach out um, if, you, if you need his service, or should I say when you need his service. Uh, again, thank you very much, Bob. Thank you. Have a great holiday. You too. I'll now hand it over to Dave for the weather.